we can't tell the pigeon story of Luxione without telling the story of his father Gerard as well. Gerard, who died in 2007, had been one of the best pigeon fanciers of the area for most of his life. All this time, he stayed true to the speed races, with a little bit of middle distance for good measure, and he stayed true to his principles, pigeon racing of the last century you could call it. Gerard only kept a few pigeons, had a razor-sharp knife and went almost never to a vet. But he had good quality pigeons, and to these he also stayed true for his entire life. These pigeons were not necessary big names, but they were all-rounders. Luke tells us, I always had other pigeons, but once in a while I added a few of my father's birds, and these could always race long distance with ease. They were strong pigeons. Was there also a touch of Boston in these? I wanted to know. No, Luke resolutely answered, Boston is a completely different story. Most readers will undoubtedly know that the late Paul Boston was also a resident of Morse Lead. Boston lived barely half a kilometer from us, Luke told us, but father knew him more from the flax cultivation than from the pigeons. You must know, Paul Boston was Champions League, long distance and extra long distance, while my dad played more in the second division provincial team. So in pigeon racing, their paths almost never crossed. At the time that Luxione as young man met Paul Boston, Paul was already on the way out. This didn't preclude Boston from making a great impression on Luxion, who justly calls him an important figure in his life. Hild is usually mentioned in the same breath as her husband Luxion. But although she doesn't race under her own name, we can certainly add her full name to the chronicles of the pigeon sport as someone who has it in the fingers. Otherwise you wouldn't win five big nationals under your own steam. Otherwise you wouldn't park six pigeons in the first seven national out of law reign over the three categories. Hild can do things with the pigeons that I can't, Luxione modestly confesses. Luke himself may have won international St. Vincent with the Il Grillo, but Hild has a special connection with her pigeons, Luke continues, the pigeons like her, they are happy when she comes into the loft, and I'm sure that it's her the birds fly home for. Great Wall in 1992 it was a fact, the combination Deng Fu Chuang and Luxion was a reality under the nice-sounding name of International Loft's Great Wall. A gigantic loft was built on the premises of the family Sion, a brickwork loft with two stories, about 35 meters long with 10 spacious racing compartments. There was space enough since the flax production was ended and the barns and the flax factory had been demolished. The only things still missing were the pigeons. Once again, Luxion's good contacts in the pigeon world proved very useful. The duo wanted nothing but the very best pigeons in their loft, which meant national and even better international winners, national ace pigeons or pigeons that were of world class otherwise. It would be too much to name all the pigeons that passed by, but there were a great many of them. The Selection Brecht, 88 88-25-551-50 First national ace pigeon from Remy Holbrichts with fourth semi-national bribe against 1,909 pigeons, 25th national Barcelona against 11,399 pigeons and 29th national Perpignan against 6,103 pigeons, all in 1992. Ricky, NL 90-116-49-25 First International Barcelona against 33,196 pigeons in 1993 from Jan Thielen. It was not their intention to create a luxury breeding station. The intention was in the first place sporting, excelling on the hardest distances. For Deng Fu it was also a matter of prestige. With these pigeons and that installation you can easily impress friends and competitors at home. Now the results only had to start rolling in. Good. But not good enough. Because their goal was the extra long distance they had to practice patience for a few years, and it was only in 1995 that they could start seriously with a team of second-year pigeons. The results were there, but actually not so overwhelming as hoped and dreamed of beforehand. They had good results with all that illustrious power. But nevertheless, both Luxion and his Taiwanese partner were not entirely satisfied. After all the results were not so spectacular that they stormed the national and international podiums, 
good but not good enough. The conclusion was clear, Luke decides, it isn't enough to buy the best pigeons in the world and to put them all together to breed equally good winners out of them. Pigeon sport is not simply a mathematical equation, balance. After 10 years international lofts Great Wall, the partners Luxion and Deng Fu Chuang got together to make up the balance. In the end, only the Ricky and the Brecht had achieved what they were bought for. For their own loft, the Rick, 317788-95, a son of Brecht Cross Ricky, flew 19th National Barcelona against 12,731 pigeons in 1997. The UC, a Hanat of brother Rick Cross, daughter Tunzing won first national POW hens in 1997, sixth international hens of 1,260 pigeons. That seemed like a good start, but the euphoria was short-lived. The combination Sion Deng Fu Chuang was certainly strong competitors, but they had not really realized the high set goals of 1992. And in the end, they decided to end their partnership on friendly terms. I didn't want to discuss and haggle a lot about who would keep what, and suggested that Deng Fu would keep all racers and breeders. Deng Fu had obviously nothing against this proposal and the birds were moved to Taiwan. After this they didn't have much contact and Luxion doesn't know what has become of these super pigeons. He had kept a small core of young out of the superstars for himself, and there were still a number of descendants of especially the Brecht and the Ricky in the lofts of friends. However, don't think that there were no pigeons at Sion's home at all. During the entire period, Gerard Sion had kept his own pigeons and been racing his own races with these. So Lute could effortlessly step back into the combination with his father. And even more important in the meantime, Hild had come on the scene, and she had become a fancier herself, with her own loft from where she raced with young pigeons and hens. The Offspring All in all the offspring of Brecht and Ricky was positive. For instance the Brecht gave a few absolute toppers in following generations. First National POW hens in 1997, in their own loft with the UC, granddaughter Brecht, Ricky and Tunzing. First International Dax 2006, for D and D Plateau in Zillibic. First International St. Vincent 2006 before mentioned Il Grillo for Luke, Sion himself. First National Barcelona 2005, Queen Tani for Bunganiers. The Queen Tani from France Bunganiers was a half Sion, still from the period with Deng Fu. Mother of Queen Tani was a heavily inbred granddaughter of the Brecht. Which came about like this, in 1993, at the purchase of Ricky, Luke had made firm contact with Jan Hermans, who in fact had bought the Ricky from his friend Jan Thielen. Luke Sion and Jan Hermans got unwell together and over the years, this grew into a pleasant partnership and later a close friendship. Luke had, always looking for the best of the best for the Great Wall Lofts discovered that Jan Hermans had a direct daughter of the clamper from Cor de Hade in his law. That is the pigeon for us, Luke thought aloud. But Jan Hermans could not be persuaded, the brilliant was not for sale, not for any money. But between friends, another arrangement was made, Luke could borrow the brilliant for a couple of eggs with the Brecht. They produced a cock and a hen. Ring 352-18-98 and 219-98. Making sure to keep this bloodline, Luxion coupled the two, nest brother against nest sister. And his hunch that this was extraordinary blood was further confirmed when pigeon specialist Franz Bunganiers praised the quality of the pair. Franz took a daughter of the inbred pair with him, and proved to be right by breeding the Queen Tani out of her. To be complete, we have to mention that the Queen Tani, named after the wife of Cor de Hade, had a father as well which was a direct cord to hate out of the Ironmanch from Cor, an inbred clamper hen. Successful career Luxion and his wife filled from Moorslead, West Flanders are what can only be described as dyed-in-the-wool pigeon fanciers. Any fancier meeting them either ask their lofts or at any of the award ceremonies they have to attend, can only be impressed by their enthusiasm, dedication and passion for their sport. Luke is of course from a long traditional pigeon fancying family. They are a comprehensive and compelling story of a family with the pigeon sport in their blood. The Dynamic Duo 
Luke and Hild have two main bloodline threads running through their team and that is Spidey probably the best breeding cock in the current pigeon sport and a now their foundation hen. Spidey was bred by Willem de Bruyne, that name again. And as his name implies he is descended on his damned side from the world famous Rossi and Spinnock of Herman Schuster's from a time they were at their brilliant best. The sire of Spidey is Duro and the grandfather of four times first national winners and a full brother to Willem de Bruyne's famous Olympic Chanelic winner of first Dutch national ace and PO in 2011 and first Olympic ace pigeon in Poznan 2011. They are from the Klein Blah bred by Hermans, Schusters and a foundation breeder of de Bruyne's current world-class bloodline. The breeding record of Spidey is astonishing having bred into the second and third generations multiple performance ace pigeons KBDB and national winners. In 2014, Luke and Hild hit the bull's eye with BE 13 313 80 72 Wilhelmina a daughter of Spidey when she won first national Poitiers yearlings against 14,109 birds with a 13-minute lead and also beating the entire competition including old birds of 26,486 birds. Then in 2019, Luke and Hild shocked the pigeon world with Cameron another daughter of Spidey in fact, a full sister to Wilhelmina when she won first national Argentine 15,235 birds beating another daughter of Spidey into second national. Then, two weeks later first national Limoges 9,578 birds. The question was, asked, is she the best ever racer in Belgium and most could have think of any better, especially as her previous record as a yearling was also really good including 28th National Chateau Roux 13,098 birds. She was subsequently sold to a Far East fancier for an astonishing sum, rumored from good sources 800,000 euro. Another very important reason we wanted these lines is Blue Flame the Dam of Spidey is also Dam of the Mother of Murphy's Law the new standard bearer for Willem de Bruyne and in our view one of the strongest performance bloodline available at the moment at all levels and for many fancier. Thank you for watching. Until next time.